And hello again, this is John Lequist from Palette Academy. This is Geometry 4-2 Angles in a Triangle. So there's actually two theorems that we're going to use here. Uh, theorem 1 is... one. Theorem 1 is the sum of the internal angles of a triangle equals 180. And this is really simple to prove. You just have, if you have two, two parallel lines, you have angle 1 plus 3 plus 4 is a line, right? So that's equal to 180. And then um, because these are parallel lines, this alternate interior angles have to be equal. So angle 1 is equal to angle 2. And these are alternate interior, so 5 equals 4. So if you substitute um, one or two in for one and five in for four, you get angles two plus three plus five equals 180. And so that's how that works. And then the external angle theorem, you have now that we know that one, two, and three has to be 180, and we know that three and plus four is 180, this is a line, right? It's a line, so it's 180. So angles three plus four has to be 180. So, if they're both equal to 180, I can set them equal to each other. I can set this equal to this. And then this 3 cancels. And I get angle 1 plus 2 is equal to angle 4. So, the external angle theorem says angle 1 plus angle 2 equals angle 4. Or the measurement. The measurement of these two angles. These two angles added together equals 4. The external angle. And the external angle is just the angle formed by the extension of a side. And then the extension of the side um, this is the external angle. The extension of a side to the other side. So this angle is ang angle 1 plus angle 2. And then these guys add up to 180 degrees. And that's it. Those are the two properties we're going to use. So it turns out to be pretty simple if you have three angles. So find the measurement of the, rep of the, of the um, angle represented by x. So 180 minus the sum of these two guys. So if we just turn on our calculator, um, and I clear that out, and then I get one, I get to add these two up, right? So if I add up 34 plus, ugh, 34 plus 59, I subtract that from 180, that's my answer, right? So I could say 180 minus the quantity is going to be 34 plus 34 plus 59, the quantity, and I get 87. So um, x is 87. Bingo. And the same thing here, I take 180 minus the quantity 55 plus 31. See that? And you, remember, if you use a distributed property, it would be 180 minus 55 minus 31 because you distribute the minus sign. So you're really minusing both of these when you have a quantity, right? So you could write it in your calculator like this, too. So I could I could say 180, not 108, 180 minus move this over a little bit, uh, 55 minus 31. I mean either way you can do do two minuses or minus a quantity. Works same thing. Get 94. So x is equal to 94 degrees. Okay. Well, now this one is a little different. Now we're going to use the external angle theorem. I could say this angle. 
is equal to this angle plus this angle, right? These two added together equals that. But I don't know what this is. But I can figure it out because this is a line, right? This is a line. A line equals 180 degrees. Called supplementary angles. A plus B. A plus B has to be equal 180. So if I take 180 minus 138, whoops, 180 degrees minus 138, I'm going to get this angle here, this one. So let's see, 180 minus 138, I get 42. So this angle is 42. So now I know that X be 42 degrees plus 103 degrees. So I, I, I can just add these. I can figure this out. 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 0 is 4, 1. So this is 145 degrees. Okay? And then the second one is the same thing. I have to find this guy. No, I don't. I have to find X. Oh, okay. So, well, this is even simpler. I know that these two, these are this is the external angle here, right? These two added together have to equal that. So X plus 45 has to equal 140, right? These two added together equals that. So I don't have to find this guy. I could. You know, I could find this and then add those two and subtract that from 180 to give me this because that, I could use this theorem here. I could use the first one. Or I could use the external angle theorem. In fact, I'll, I'll do both. Why well, not? What the heck? So we'll do it both ways. So I get 140 and so I get x is equal to a minus, one, a minus 45 from both sides. Minus 45 from both sides. And I get 95, right? Is 40 from that is 100, and then another 5 is 95. So I could figure out this is, this is 40, right? This is a line. It has to be 100, 180, right? And then if I just use my first theorem, 180 minus. 45 plus 40 will give me x, right? So x, if I take my calculator out, move over here, 180 minus quantity 45 plus 40, and that's equal to 95. So either way, I get x equals 95. And we're done. That should do it. Good luck.